In Lira, the commercial and industrial city, the spirit of freedom and unity among the Indian community is palpable. The atmosphere is electric. Hundreds gather under one roof at Lira Hotel to witness the lighting of the candle, an event held for the first time in the region. It holds a deep symbolic significance as a tribute to the countless freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for India's independence. The Indian High Commissioner to Uganda was ushered to the podium for this symbolic activity flanked by the Resident City Commissioner of Lira, Lawrence Igole, and Senior Presidential Advisor Sam Ingola. So thank you for uh, doing this event uh, five days in advance because if it was on 15th of August, I couldn't have come because on that day I have to host an event in the High Commission of India in Kampala. India-Uganda bilateral relations, we have very strong relations both on uh, economic side, on the political side, on the defense side. Uh, one of the strongest pillars is the Indian community, which is in all the major areas of the country. Bandera is catching up also very fast. We have uh, cooking oil. Millers here, over 42 machines from India in Lama sub here. I thank you people very much. Very peaceful people, law abiding and hard working. Teaming up with our business community, Lira attained its city status. The event featured various cultural performances from traditional dances and speeches. Today to patriotic songs honoring India's rich heritage. On this day, three institutions including Adina Foundation, Lira Regional Referral Hospital and Lira Babies Home received support from the Indian community. Earlier, the Indian community donated 167 units of blood to help save lives in Uganda. No life. So we always try to serve our deserving needy people. The Indian community is always responding just like our local community is responding. The Lira RCC Lawrence Igole applauded the contribution of the Indian community to the region's development. In Uganda, the independence ceremony will take place at the Indian Embassy in Kampala on 15th of August this year. Edi Olua, UBC News.